beef dessert, beef dessert. Mm, 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 mm. Are you still rolling? Okay, Jasmine, what are we doing today? I just finished watching a clip from Friends where Rachel makes this English trifle and I've wanted to make this for a very long time. I've been very curious, so I did some research to see how we can make it. We're gonna make it because I wanna find out if it's like a comedy TV show punchline or if it's the real thing because Joey liked it. What's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. And I think I might be a Joey. And you guys said you didn't wanna try it, so I thought, well, we should definitely do it. So today we will be making the Thanksgiving trifle from Friends where Rachel messes it up and it's a half a trifle, half a shepherd's pie. Sounds pretty good. I'm excited. Are you dressed as Rachel right now? I am, you notice? <laughs> we are gonna start by making the custard. Rachel makes it from scratch. I have a saucepan over here. I'm just adding in my milk. Now I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and my sugar. Now we're just gonna whisk this together until the sugar is melted. And then we wanna keep this warm. We don't want it to come to a boil. So while this is warming, I am going to make my slurry. I have some cornstarch here and I'm just gonna add in my milk. I'm just gonna whisk this together. So the slurry will help thicken my custard. This is just a very simple classic custard. Now we are gonna separate some eggs. Let's hope this goes well. Or maybe you might catch a Rachel moment right on camera. You're very serious right now, what happened? Am I very serious? Yes, you seem very, very concentrated. You gotta be concentrated when you're separating eggs because, wow, that yolk is so much bigger than the other one. So now I'm whisking up my egg yolks and then we're gonna temper it with my milk. So with tempering the eggs, it just means that you're slowly bringing up the temperature so it doesn't cook and become scrambled eggs because uh, that was one of my Rachel mistakes before, which is why I don't think she really made it from scratch. I made from scratch. Now I'm adding my eggs, my tempered eggs, back into my milk, and then we can move on to the next step. So now that my egg is incorporated, now I'm gonna add in my slurry. I'm gonna slowly whisk this for about five minutes until it thickens up. So the custard is done, I removed it from the heat, and now we're gonna add in my butter, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. I think you're a Rachel. You think I'm a Rachel? <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I love her, but I just don't think I am her. When we're doing our taste test, I feel like a Joey. All right, so my custard is done. I removed it from the heat and we're just gonna run this through a fine mesh strainer. So now I'm covering this baby with saran wrap, making sure to touch the custard to avoid getting that film on top. And then I'm gonna let it cool a little bit before putting it in the fridge for a few hours. Now it's time to saute our beef, peas, and onions. Be right back. I think this will taste good. I have, I have high hopes. So now we're gonna make the beef part of this dessert. It's supposed to be the shepherd's pie. So this is where Rachel gets it wrong. But you know what? I think this mixture is actually not that bad. So I just added a splash of some olive oil. So if you don't know what shepherd's pie is, it's like a meat pie, but instead of a pie, it's more like a casserole and then it's topped with mashed potatoes. There's really nothing to not like about shepherd's pie, unless you mix it with lady fingers and jam. So I'm just gonna saute these onions until they're softened. I'm adding some salt, some pepper, cause why not? All right, our onions have softened a little bit, so now we are gonna add in the beef. Why do you like Friends so much? Aw, well it's a really good show, I really like it, but my mom, when she came to America, she would watch Friends to learn English, so it has a very special place in my heart. This beef is looking absolutely lovely. Now we're just gonna add in my frozen peas, and we're just gonna fold this in. All right, this beef is looking good for our dessert. I'm gonna go gather everything, get our custard, and then we can get to assembling. So I have some lady fingers. First, I'm gonna line them along the bottom. Now I'm gonna line the side of the trifle dish. Our first layer is in. Next, we are gonna go in with our jam. I put it in a piping bag. I'm trying to replicate the little divots with the jam. I actually don't think that the meat and jam combo will be that weird. Jam is in. It's custard time. Let's go in with this layer of custard. Like, take out the beef. Do you think you'd like this now? <laughs> yeah, if there was no beef, this undoubtedly would be delicious. Next layer, the raspberries. The raspberries are gonna get buried anyway, so just making sure that it has its own layer. We're going to go in with another layer of lady fingers, and it's time to go in with the all-star ingredient, beef. It actually doesn't look bad. Now we're gonna go in with another layer of custard. Honestly, I feel pretty good about this recipe. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. It's banana time. How do you feel about the banana meat custard combo? 
Actually, it's pretty common to eat banana with some savory dishes or like all dishes for some cultures. So it's not actually that weird to me. Last layer, y'all, the whipped topping. Oh yeah. Let's just use the whole thing. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, you will eat it and you will like it. All right, okay, I think we're done. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, let it sit for a few hours, let the lady finger soften, and then it's meal time. Can I get a woo? First person we're bringing in today is Adrian, Tasty's production coordinator and a friend super fan. Adrian has no idea this is happening, so let's bring them in. I'm going to get Adrian. Adrian, yes. hey. do you wanna come taste? Some friends? Yes. What shirt are you wearing? How you doing? <laughs> when you're ready, open your eyes. Whoa. You have no idea how much I've wanted to try this. And I know, I think I know what this is. The friends Thanksgiving trifle. Mmm. <laughs> you have three options. Would you go to the balcony and a bird takes this? Would you go to the bathroom to watch yourself eat it in the mirror? <laughs> or would you down it like Joey? Or does it taste like feet? I would definitely watch myself eat it in the bathroom. The reactions on the TV show was very accurate. Here we go. You excited? Mm, I'm, ex I'm excited. I think he likes it. What an adventure. <laughs> the end of it tastes like a burger. Do I like this? Okay, Katie, you have three options. I'm gonna down it like Joey. I'm shocked. Kelly, you gotta try this. This is one of my favorite episodes I've ever watched from Friends. I've never wanted to try this though. Mm -mm. I hate it. <laughs> you got three options. <laughs> you cry? Yeah. I'm going to the balcony. I'm going right over, hopefully into a trash can and not on someone's head, but this has to go. So based on everyone's reaction, I am taking away that it's absolutely delicious. It's really good, actually. It tastes like french fries in a milkshake. I would down this like Joey. I am downing it like Joey. I am so happy I finally got to satisfy my curiosity after so many years. This was actually really good. So I now know for certain the show is scripted because delicious, as you saw my friends enjoy. If you're curious, you guys should make it too. Take a picture, tag us on Instagram. We wanna see. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh yes.